is mighty God. We thank you. We give you honor. We give you praise. Oh, we thank you, Master Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lamb of God. It's all about you, Jesus. We give you praise. We worship you. No one is like you, Jesus. You are mighty. You are glorious. You are able. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. We magnify your name, Jesus. We give you honor, Jesus. We give you honor. We give you praise, Lamb of God. In the name of Jesus. No one is like you, Jehovah. You are mighty. You are glorious. You are able. You are great. 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 Mighty Jesus. You are great. Jesus, 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 we lift you, Lord, we lift you, Lord, we lift you, Lord, we glorify your name. The name of Jesus. We lift your name. We declare the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus.
supernatural law. Oli bazakata na bolu zikete, liriyaleke zikete bala bolu zira, luma zanta na bala 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 bala, leke zike, li bagariyale zikete, luma zanta na bala bolu zira. Worship the Lord in the spirit. Other tongues and glorify Jesus. Oh, we honor you, Jesus. Kiliama kazanta la bolu zikata leke zikete le bala bala bala. Liama zunde le bala zunde le bala. Loko zikete le bala bolu zia. Kula bala 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 le bala zile bala le bala zile bala. Liama kazanta la bolu zikata mpe. We glorify you, Jesus. We declare you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Prince of Peace. Beside you there is no other. Beside you there is no other. Oh. Oh, liaba zikete le bala bolu zikete le bala. Oh, li kazala madarela li zile madarela ma. Kiki le bala 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 bala. La mazaki le bala 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 bala. Kiki le bili bila bala bala. Lama zakata lava, kukuri bana 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 nila nizili mudoe. Baki ali kiziki li bala bala. Lama zakata limo. No impossibility with you, O God. You are indeed the way maker. You are indeed the way maker, Father. You make a way in every wilderness. You are the one who raises up rivers, even in the deserts. May you do the extraordinary, Lord. May you do the supernatural, Lord. And glorify yourself, Jesus. May every barrier be broken. Every limitation be broken. Oh, Liyama Zakata Baba, let there be a mighty turn around. Oh, Liyama Zalaba Laba Labo Luzike. Keh, Liyama Zanta Laba 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 Laba. Keh, Keh, Liyama Laba 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 Dari Lani. Luba Zake, Luba Zake. Kante ri bala, kante ri buluza. Look at zikke te ri bala bala ba. Dari ali zikke te ri bala 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 ba. Oh, li ba zala ba dari la, li zala ba dari la. Luma zaka ta la ba dari li. Oh, li ba la zali. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Son of the Most High God. Oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. We give you the praise and honor, and we magnify you. In the name. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee away.
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Declare you have the victory this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. if you believe it we have the victory we have the victory we have the victory already may the Lord give you the victory may the Lord give you the victory hallelujah amen tell you never you can't be defeated we can't be defeated we can't if the Lord be for you, who can be against you? Nobody. Even the devils and demons of the river, they can't succeed. Even the witch doctors and the wizards and the sorcerers, they can't prevail. Oh, yes. The victory is mine. Are we together? The Bible says you are more than a conqueror. And that's who you are. Amen. Let's give the Lord another shout of victory. Glory to my secretary. is mine. We are marching on powerfully. Forward ever. Backwards, never. We must finish very well. Amen. God bless you. 
God bless you. Let's appreciate the praise and worship. And then you can take your seats. May the Lord mightily bless you. Let's go to Acts chapter 1 verse 4. The Bible says, And the being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. For John truly baptized with the water, but you shall receive, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Let's go to verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Verse 12. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying Peter, James, John, and Andrea, Philip, and Thomas, and Bartholomew. And Matthew and James and the son of Alphaz and Simon the Zealot and Judas, the son of James. This continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus and his brothers. And then we go to chapter 2, verse 4. Let's begin from verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and then suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And this appeared to them diver tongues of fire and one set on each one of them. Verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to hear from you. May you speak to us, even as you will. Use me as a vessel in your hands. Give me boldness, give you revelation, and even utterance. Holy Spirit of God, overshadow this place and glorify Jesus. And we'll live to give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say amen. I think by the by the grace of god i want to share about the importance of the holy spirit and i will not finish today i'm sure i've been doing in the youth but i think to include i want to include it to the whole church because i have found out the greatest need of the church now is the baptism of the holy spirit The CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the Church, is the Holy Ghost. We can do nothing without 
empowerment from the Holy Ghost. And that's why where we have read, you look at verse 4 and you wonder, what is Jesus saying? There is need for preaching and they tell them, don't depart from Jeru. In other words, don't even go witnessing. Don't even go preaching. Why? You don't have what it takes to preach. You don't have the power. You don't have the divine capability. You need empowerment by the Holy Ghost. And he commanded them. He didn't request. First of all, there says, and he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem until they receive the promise of the Father. What was the promise of the Father? He told them, not many days from now, you will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The promise of the Father was the baptism of the Holy Spirit to come upon them so that they can, they can have the capacity to go preaching. Study the scriptures. Jesus never did ministry before the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Bible is very clear. Study this Matthew 3. When he went to be baptized of John and he came out from the water is when the heavens all opened and then the Holy Ghost came upon him like a dove. And even God said, this is my beloved son, hear he him. That is when Jesus began ministry. After the Holy Spirit he came upon him. And then we read from there. He was led by the Holy Spirit for prayer, 40 days. He prayed for 40 days, prayer of prayer and fasting, 40 days. Led by who? By the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit took over in his life. And now he had the capacity to preach. Now that's where we make mistakes. We think we are able to do it. Without the Holy Ghost, we can't. That is the divine capability that God gives us to become effective witnesses. Now, without the Holy Spirit, the church is just like a political party. No difference. Without the Holy Ghost, you worship becomes entertainment. Without the Holy Spirit, prayer becomes a, a what? A burden. You don't enjoy prayer. But immediately you are full of the Holy Spirit. You can pray for five hours. And it looks like you prayed for one hour. Why? Because of the empowerment. Tunapatana wapendwa. Ambia jire lazima upoke upatiso. Upatiso wa roo mtakativu. Upatiso. Ulipatiso na maj. Upatiso wa maji ni wa pasta wako. Lakini upatizo wa roo mtakatifu ni Yesu mwenye na nakupatisa. Tuko pamoja. Aliwaamurisha Yesu akuwapembeleza. Aliwaambia zikieni, mgawaji mmekaa na mimi miaka tatu na nusu, hakuna muujiza mjaona sio hata kuvuliwa kwa Lazarus. Mumeona yote si ndio atakutembea juu ya maji. Lakini hiyo haitoshi. Eh, lazima mupokee nguvu za kiu sa kiungu ambaye sitawawezesha kufanya mambo kiungu ambia je lazima tufanye mambo kiungu kesha nilikuwa naambia wapenda ni zikiza muhubiri mwika sema akasema we should never be ordinary mtu ameokoka si mtu wa kawaida mtu ameokoka ni mtu asiye wa kawaida Wangabu wana yuki jazoro na kuwa mtu siye wa kawaida. Chochote kina esatendeka kwa mtu wa meokoka. Nadiyo bine nasema isharaita wafuata. 
waliamini na kujazwa roho kwa jina langu watatua pepo eh watawekelea wagonjwa mikono na watapo watanena na lugha zingine uliza jeruona nenanga na lugha zingine ama nikikamba tu na kikuyu na Kiswahili a a tunaitwa kwa m- level ingine ya kiungu na hii ni ya kila mtu ambaye ameokoka kila mtu ambaye ameoko afai kuwa mtu wa kawaida unapaswa kuwa Mungu ambaye anafanya mambo kiungu lakini si kwa nguvu zako ni kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu bila hii wapendwa bila hii ha tunangangana kimaisha lakini roho akituja milango inapasuka inafungua maana nguvu za roho zinafanya kazi mitume walipopokea pale chumba cha juu kasi ilianza ndio naona walienda kwa ule aliwekwa mlangoni ambaye walikuwa wameenda mara nyingi wakamwambia sikia hatuna dhahabu na ve lakini tulicho nacho kuna kitu tumepata katika jumba ja juu tulicho nacho katika jina la Yesu wa Nazareth simama na uende au utakuwa mtu amelama tena ukijaro na kuwa mtu wa kulete soluisho mali watu wamekwama utawakwamua mano mechasa na roho na roho ni Mungu mwenyewe na hiyo ndio tunataka turudie mahali kimekuliwa you see ukisoma Joel anasema nitawarudishia miaka kuna vitu zilikuliwa ni manduman zingine ni parale zingine ni ni nzige lazima turegezewe si ndio wapendwa pungia mimi mkono kama You see wewe soma matendo ya mitume utashangaa alafu ulinganishe na kanisa hii ya siku hizi utashangaa kabisa eh pita na ubiri vila vyombo na na kunaokoka elfu ngapi tatu ana ubiri mara ya pili wanaokoka elfu ngapi tano anaponya ni kivuli awe kikweli mkono ukiguza kivuli cha pita unapona hata kama wewe ni kiwetu nakimbia wakapo unajua Mungu hajabadilika huyu ndiye Mungu wetu lakini tofauti iko wapi kuna mtu tumekosa anaitwa msaidizi anaitwa nani ambia jirani unahitaji msaidizi wacha kuzukuma mambo na kivua eh unahitaji nguvu za Amen. David alikuwa wa pekee aliyepakwa mavuta. Katika Samueli wa kwanza moja tu utafungua. Alavu alipotiwa mavuta za Biblia anasema na roho akawa juu yake kutoka siku hiyo kuendelea. Walipokuwa makule Goliath amewalin amewa amewachanganyisha amewa wanaingia kwa mapango na nijeshi. David alipoenda kupeleka chakula. Eh? Unaona tofauti ya mtu amejaa roho. Alipopeleka chakula ndiye alikuwa soluhisho ya jeshi nzima. Ukijaa roho utaokoa taifa. Ukijaa roho utaokoa familia yenu. Na mapepo tiishi. Maana ukijaa roho umejaa nguvu za Mungu, mapepo yanainama. akaenda akijaa ule roho wa Mungu akaona mtu anaitwa nani Goliatho ambaye alikuwa jatairiwa kikuja anaitwa Kihi yani eh ndiye alikuwa anasumbua wana wa Israeli eh wanaingia wakiogopa hata yule ndugu yake mkubwa alikuwa anaitwa nani Eliab si ndio alipokwenda akamuta umekuja kufanya nini huko umewacha zile kondonda ndogo na nani na huyu ni muti wa mavuta wa nani? Wa Mungu. Akauliza huyu mtu ambaye ametuzi majeshi ya Mungu. 
Sieje yule atamua atafanywa nini? Wakamudharau akasema kijana. Huyu mtu amepigana kutoka utotoni. Wewe ni kijana. Lakini alijua akiwa na roho ana nguvu za kiungu. Na nguvu za kiungu azishindani na mtu. Azishindani hata na mapepo ya maeneo. Nguvu za kiungu sina shinda kila uwezo wa mapepo na majini na hata ilumilati haleluya ambia jirani hii ndio tunataka kama kanisa tukienda njunguini tunaingia mitaani tunafanya muksako wa kiro hii ndio inaitajika na kwa hivyo ndauti akaenda mpalo kwa mfalme akamwambia asikia mfalme ni kutolea ushuhuda Mungu aliyeniokoa na ndugu na akaniokoa na simba ataniokoa na huyu ngoliadha Bwana Yesu sana Alafu akachukua nini Eh akachukua kombe Kiswahili Sling ni kombe ya Kiswahili eh? na mawe matano hakutumia yote lakini alikuwa na spare in case Goliath and brothers there is a stone for every one of them Hallelujah. May that be you. May the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost. May you desire refuse to be ordinary. I'm not going to be ordinary. I must become supernatural because the Holy Ghost make you supernatural. Amen. He makes you supernatural. That's the truth. Peter walio jaro mtakati they were supernatural. Kivuli kinaponya. Huyu mtu ni wa kawaida. Eh, so let's get an kivuli kinaponya. Eh? Sindio wapendwa? Yes. Wakapa nasema hii ndio tunataka. Hii kija basi hakuna shida. Adhi river tuta tuta within give it one month. Tunavyeka kabisa. Nimekundua hii ndio shida. Hii most of the people are not spirit filled. They are just religious kapisa ndio naombea waende hii wakanaokopa wataanza wapi mtu alawa haulizi ataanza wapi mtu ana roho na maneno mingi maana maneno zi yako ni unafungua anaweka uko naeleza wapendwa kesha tulipokuwa tuko wanarika we cross crossed hmm? mimi nilikuwa na naona we roho anaweza kufanya vitu i think ali 70s We planted a church in Kibwezi spiritual church tukiwa wanarika ninafanya kazi na Robi na ninafanya mikutano Kibwezi ai na vijana hawajali awa gharama kabisa hatujali you know he ati kukosa mkutano it was an hard of unatembea miles kwenda kwa rally na uwezi kuchelewa na uwezi unarudi una usiku mkimpa na mwokopi visi wala simba mnasema Mungu anaweza yote maana turegeze hiyo ki una njaa ya kupokea nguvu sinaweza sio it's possible lakini shida tulie nao kuna watu hawatamani chochote wao wametoshe wametoshe kana patupu hiyo ishindwe I rebuke this spirit ya kuzarenza yuni Can I do you know why majority of you your Sunday worshipers lack of the holy spirit you cannot be full of the holy ghost and retained in a place and then you come to church once in a week it can you will break all the yokes of the enemy mimi nilikata It was not possible even in my management they knew You take dominion Hawengine me hey hakuna mlango wa kunifungulia kuja morning glory hiyo nyumba siwame nyumba inakuwa kiroho una haja kukaa hapo fanyie hivyo muislamu atahama five they must go to the mosque si ndio wapendwa lakini wakiso kupana hawana nguvu za roho wanalala tu wana mwisho ni kuku ambayo tabia ishindwe 
na imambo ya kuwa wani mtu wa ibada moja tu kwa wiki unatokea kama submarine unatokea alafu kienda mpaka jumapili hata sare ni tukitaka kwa open ya upo hata waimbaji wengine hivyo we ni kama submarine ukiingia leo tutakuona tena jumapili ndio unatokea sasa mtu wa jumapili peke yake is always weak before you catch up there is no time enough to revive you say amen, amen. say amen beth amen ungie mkono kama unasikia nilisema nataka kufundisha lakini nataka sasa nimeanza kuhubiri na kwa hivyo wapendwa nasema kuna kitu tunahitaji kinaitwa upatiso wa roho mtakatifu Peter walipopokea hawakuwa waoga tena Peter alikuwa mwoga kabisa anapepa kizu Warumi wale askari warumi wakishika Yesu walitoa ki Mtu anapepa kizu inamaanisha ni mwoga Mmm mpaka Yesu akarudisha <laughs> Yesu kama vita yake ya kimwili turudisha kizu Alikuwa pia mtu wa kimwili na nakana Yesu lakini mtu wa kimwili. <laughs> Alewe vita ni ya kiroho. Kuna watu waelewe vita ni ya wanajipanga tu na ukimpitia nje ambaye utakula hii. Yeye yeah, anaongea na lugha za bure because bado hajakomana. <laughs> Kita si ya kimwili. Sema amen. amen. Na kwa hivyo huyu Peter, huyu Peter halipo jaro mtakatifu alikuwa mjasili kama simba kajudia kila mahali hata mbele ya wakuu wakaambia muziongee juu ya hiyo jina katika ma, matendo ya mitume akasema lazima tutii Mungu kuliko watu na naambia watu wana uwezo kumoa haogopi wote ambao ni wa, walifuata Yesu nafikiri ni moja tu akufa kivo cha kuwao wale wengine waliwao pita alisulubishwa mikuu yu na kichwa chini walikuwa wajazili waogopi wa nini unaogopa hauna roho lakini ukipokea roho utakuwa mjazili hata ukiwa mama fanya hivi fanya hivi na kwa hivyo wapendwa nataka hii njili turudie na waamurisha lazima tupokee roho hii ndio shida tulie nao ndio tunazukuma wa wanazukumwa tu kama mkoko tena. Hawana kitu kingine kinawasukuma. Ukijaro uzukumwi uzukumwi kuomba uzukumwi kuja ushirika uzukumwi roho alipoingia katika Yesu roho alimuongoza kuomba na kufunga bila kutangaziwa ni pasta. Kwa nini lazima utangaziwe na uambiwe na ukumbushwe tena? Black of the Holy Ghost. Mitume did they They didn't need to be Ukisoma Acts chapter 3 can we read Acts chapter 3 I just want to mention something Acts chapter 3 Are you there The Bible says now Peter and John went up to gather to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried from whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms from those who entered the temple who seeing Peter in front about to go into the temple asked for alms and fixing his eyes on him with John said look on us so he gave them his attention expecting to receive something from them then he said silver and gold i do not have but i have i in the name of jesus of nazareth rise up and walk. and he took his hand by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and the angels bonds received strength so leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them walking leaping praising god 
and all that saw him walking and praising God, then they knew it was he who said baking hams at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to them. Hallelujah. Now the lame man who was healed said unto Peter and John, all these people ran together to him in the pond which is called Solomon's greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Of what? Of why? Look at so intentionally to, at us, as though by our own power or good, good, godliness we have made this man who. You see, it was not about Peter. It was about the Holy Spirit at work. We are in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Things cannot happen without the Holy Spirit. Is the appointed of his son in the Holy Trinity. Are you listening to me? And that's why when Jesus rose again, he was on earth for 50 days. 40 days strengthening their faith, 10 days in heaven before the Holy Ghost came. 40 days on earth, 10 days in heaven after he went back. And then in 50 days, Pentecost means 50. After the Holy Ghost came, is when he, the work of Jesus continued from where he stopped. Church was not left in the hands of any man. No man can impute God a church. And that's why Jesus said, I will build my own church. Who is building the church? Not to a bishop. Not the apostles. The Holy Spirit is doing it. Now if we want to see what they saw, we must have what they had. What was did they have? The Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to take over in your life than ever before. You will see the supernatural in your life. Are we together? Nilipo okoka tulitwa kanisa ya kiro. Kanisa nini? Tukikosa ro tutaitwa kanisa la dini. Are you getting what I'm saying? Abia jirani lazima ro akuje. Lazima tutakuwa kanisa la dini. Tutakuwa kanisa la dini? Mukrizo ana ro ni mtu ni mundini anafanya mambo ki uweza wa mwananda mwananda now look where we have read peter and john were going to the temple in the hour of those people they had the hour of prayer the ninth hour ilikuwa kila mtu anaenda mao siku hizi kama kesho tuna maombi ya jioni wengine na mugujangi Sababu gani? How na roo? Are we getting what I'm saying? May the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost. So we need to be baptized. Now, I want to put some distinction. Baptism. The word baptism means immersion. Eh? Ima is like bury. You don't bury people halfway. You put them six feet. Eating deep. To be a man always means you are completely submerged by the Holy Spirit. He has total control. That is what baptism is. Immersion. Baptism. That is the beginning point. You are completely immersed. The way we do in the water baptism. Because the water baptism we normally say is Burial and resurrection. We bury the body of sin. You rise up in the newness of life. 
That's all the first encounter is baptism. Wherever you are totally immersed under the Holy Spirit is taken control. And then he live in the feelings. Kujazo ni kila si? Kila? You have to wait on God on a daily basis in prayer for any feeling. Why? If you are not in the field, then you try up. Those say some people, because they have no prayer program, they have dried up. How many days did they spend waiting for the Holy Ghost? Ten days of constant prayer. Women, together with the women. So God, Jesus wanted to break the gender issue because Israel discriminated the women. He said, together with the women. In other words, women are included in the receiving of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Even Mary, the mother of Jesus, she needed the Holy Ghost. Now, if you needed the Holy Ghost, even you, even you, you need the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, we we. Unaitaji i upatiso. Unaitaji hi upatiso. Wengine unaitaji hi upatiso. Upatiso wa Rome takatifu. Bila hiyo, utakuwa mtu wa kimwili. Na yale unafanya, utangana mafanya kungangana. Mana nguvu za kufanya kazi, zinatokana na roo. Nguvu za maombi, zinatokana na nguvu za kushudia. Eh? Kushudia si wewe ni Mungu. Roho mtakatifu. Hanakuweza anasema mtapokea nguvu baada ya Roho mtakatifu kuja juu yenu na mtakuwa mashahi. Hawakuzukumu hawaku kushudia. Si ndio? And I saw it live in early 70s. You see, witnessing was lifestyle. But this is, you know, people, you push them to it. When you have the Holy Ghost in you, witnessing becomes a lifestyle. Sema tu unaenda junguine, unaenda pele saidi. Kwa nini? Hiyo ndiyo mwito. Na so winning is for all of us. All of us, we must be so winner. It's not for a few, it is all of us. See you. John 15 and 16. The Bible says I've chosen you. Everybody saved has been chosen by who? And I have ordained you to go and bear fruit. All of you, you have been sent by Jesus to do what? To bear fruit. To bring others like you to the kingdom. So you must bring people. The Bible says in the early church, they were getting saved daily. Why are they being saved daily? They were witnessing day, daily. May the Lord revive us. Amen. May the Lord re restore what has been eaten up by the kangaroo, by the caterpillar, by the locust. Tell your neighbor we need a restoration. Are we together? Now there are two things I want us to do. Number one, who is the Holy Spirit? Because we must establish the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy. Where the disciples were with God Jesus. Now that's why they were so powerful because Jesus was with them. Now that Jesus has gone, we cannot be left without a helper. They could not be here together. That's why John 16 verse 7, the Bible says, It is to your advantage that I go. Because if I go, I'll send the helper. In other words, so long I'm here, the helper won't come. But it's to your advantage. Why? The helper is more advantaged. Why? He is in the spirit. He can be in a consumer and a at the same time, Jesus was in the flesh. That's why Lazarus is dying in Bethany, Bethany and he's on the other side. 
But the Holy Ghost is everywhere. Amen. Are we together? We must take an advantage. It is to our advantage. But the problem, many people, they don't know about the Holy Spirit. Even in spiritual churches, because it's rarely taught. This is the foundation. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot do crow and deliver. You can't. Because he's the one who brings revelation to the word. He's the one who will help you to know God. He's a teacher sent from God to teach you. When you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have a teacher, you don't have a helper, you don't have a counselor. You just become religious. And there is not much you can do. How many are saying this must change? In me. That's what the Holy Spirit is. God. Are we together? Why is he God? He has all the characteristics. All the characteristics of God. Let's go to Acts chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. Acts of the Apostles. Matendo wa mitume tano. Kwanzea tatu. But Peter said, Ananiah, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? To lie to who? Are you listening to me? To lie to thee and to keep back part of the price of the land for yourself. While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to who? You see this? Um, he calls him Holy Spirit, and here he says you have lied to God. He says you have not lied to man, you have lied to the Holy Ghost. And the same Holy Ghost, he comes and he says, you have, you have lied to God. Even the scripture recognizes the Holy Spirit is God. Brethren, ukijamu, utakuwa wakawaida. Situangalie ukumbele. Wapendwa, ukijaro, utakuwa mtu wakawaida kweli. Eh? Mana rodi mungu, na we umejaa mungu. Na kuambia ukweli, awes kwa mtu wakawaida. Ukweli, kwa nini watu wengi ni wakawaita awa jejaro, wanadhania, mungu watu koe na kudhania, haki ambia jirandi tingiza mdombi, haki kisha, haki kisha, haki kisha, haki kisha, haki kisha. Wengine waongei, haki kisha unaro, siyewa, siyewa, unaro, not out here. Una ro. No kija ro hata zunguka hata kuubiri. Nikiwa anointed I don't struggle. I don't even sometimes you don't even use your notes. Because preaching is utterance. May the Lord help us to desire to be filled with the Holy Ghost. It is very wrong. Kukaka nizani ya kiro no ya jazwa ro. Nikama kufa na nja na nyumba yako na ya chakula. Sasa jira ni ya nani? Chakula hiko na ukuli unakonda. Wewe, hamuka. Sidiyo? So the Holy Ghost, number one, you must know, is God. Now when he views you, you are full of God. Now you cannot remain the same. That is for free. You can't remain the same. Na bada kukoka. The next station, can I tell you for free? According to spiritual hierarchy, the way I know it, number one is salvation. Number two must be the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They follow like that. When you don't follow that, you become religious. And you don't cause impact in your life. Unapotea kwa ewa. Number one, salvation followed by baptism. Of the Holy Ghost. 
they are like kidole na pete sinavuatana ukishaokoka hatua ya pili cha zoro hata mitume walihubiri hivyo si ndio together so the holy spirit is is god that we cannot do without him is the one who is at work the most active of the holy trinity is the holy ghost we are in the dispensation of the holy spirit we must allow him operate in our lives if we have to cause impact in our generation no other way out are we together the holy spirit is god now we need him i want you to prove that point that salvation and the baptism of the holy spirit they follow one another just go to acts chapter 19 i'll come to where i was have a few minutes which i can use but i want you to prove this point the spirit of hierarchy acts 19 it is says and that it happened while apollos was at corinth that paul having passed through the other regions came to ephesus and the finding some disciples he said to them did you receive the holy spirit when you believed you see paul is concerned about this si angehubiri maubiri mengine mnanipata kama nipata sema amen si paul angehubiri maubiri ingine lakini anataka kujua mmepokea roho tangu mwami Mana mukishao koka the next station is the station of baptism of the holy ghost and he wanted to confirm you cannot be a true disciple without the holy ghost you cannot you cannot live a holy life victorious life without the holy spirit he is the helper he will help you even manage your business he will help you even on how to Take care of your family is a teacher in every area of your life allow him to teach you I normally give this testimony I was in Malaysia and I said God I don't know how to measure good clothes I cannot know the measurements of my family members but all is very day of me together right measurements I went to the to the market and I bought clothes for my family hakuna moja mama alipeleka fundi roho anajua measurement wengine wanafikiri roho atakusaidia tu kuhubiri ah roho ni msaidizi katika hata kama mambo ya nyumbani ujui jinsi ya kufanya na mzee hompa hekima kutoka kwa roho sema amen kama unaamini kile na ubiri roho mtakatifu wewe ndio mwalimu hata wa biashara niongoze unafanya bia niliambia mke wangu atutaki kufanya kitu ya hasara hiyo ishindwe mambo ya hasara kuisha kwa nini ufanye biashara ya hasara haipati Mungu tukufu kuna kitu ufanye vile na staili ambia roho mtakatifu biashara ni wapatie ni wapi nitaweka wakati bwana jua Mungu akiwa nayo uweze weke uweze kupata hasara wengine hata wako kwa simu tu wachana na simu kwa nini simu ndio naongea eh wangapo anajua ukiwa na Mungu katika biashara always banya sara he teaches how to make profit lakini mungu gani yako karibu na sisi the holy spirit send you is he sticketh closer than a brother involve him young man do you want to go in your career ambia roho mtakatifu niongoze katika career yangu atakuongoza si ni mwalimu lakini mimi na dam we don't tuna Shida yetu tunajitegemea sana. Kiburi. Ambie yu kiburi kishindwe. Oh, najitegemea. Wewe wewe unataka kujiongoza kweli? Uko kama shetani mwenyewe. You cannot lead yourself. I'm telling you the truth. The more you know you can't lead yourself, the more you seek God's wisdom. I can tell you because I'm a senior 
na kuambia kujiongoza utajiingiza kwa shida. Lakini ukiambia Mungu niongoze, hautapata sara. Kwa nini wengi wanapata sara unajiongoza unajiingia kwa mambo unajiweka kwenye mitego. Lakini ukiongozwa, Biblia nasema wanaongozwa ni roho ndio wana wa Mungu. Wanaongozwa ni roho. Ambia roho niongoze, lakini uwezi kuongozwa ni roho na wewe pia unajiongoza. Lazima uzarende mwambie roho sasa mimi sijiongozi wewe niongoze. Lazima weki ukiburi chini. Ndio unajua, unajua nini? Wewe unajua nini? Wacha ujuaji. Now that's the people they don't they can't see to listen to anybody. Me I listen to even have report. Even when I'm not preaching I'll come and sit and listen because anybody can tell me something that I don't know. God can use anybody. Are we together? Yes. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Amen. Even in your family, in your business, in the ministry, even in your career. Young people, are you listening to me? Naona hapa ni wengi. Career, nani anajua career kuliko mwingine? Ro. Aki kuongoza, utaingia ile career ya kweli. Ukitaka mke mzuri ongozwa ni nani? Ni moro. Beauty is in this. Eh? Yeah. But a woman that fears God shall be praised. How will you know who fears God? The Holy Spirit knows. Amen. That's all we have. A helper so close. But men are time. We don't allow him to help us. And I want from today begin to allow the Holy Spirit in your life than never before. Amen. Now can we finish here? So Paul told them, what have you been baptized in? They said, so they said, we have not so much heard whether there is. And they were in the church, they were disciples. Yet they had never heard whether there is. Many people have never heard true teaching about the Holy Spirit. And that's why they are not filled. And then he said, and he said to them, into what were you baptized? So they said into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with the baptism of repentance. Saying to the people that they should believe on him. Who we are, who would he come after him, that is the Christ. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke with the tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about 12 in all. Now when they heard, they believed. And then Paul laid his hands on them, they received the Holy Ghost. And evidence of being filled or baptized, the Holy Spirit is speaking in other tongues. They spoke in other tongues and prophesied. Acts 2 4. They were all filled. How many were filled? All of them. And they began to speak in other, speaking in other tongues is a requirement for you to be able to build your strong faith. Speaking in other tongues. Not in Ikikamba. Speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives you utterance. It's a level. Now you got to desire. These things come because somebody desires. What you don't desire cannot desire you. Wakaba Nazem, I don't want to be ordinary. I want to move to a level of super, being supernatural. You need the Holy Ghost. You got to desire. Are we together? Baptism is once, but in the of the Holy Spirit is on a daily basis. Continuous, you must wait on God on daily basis. A true believer full of the Holy Ghost must be spent minimally one hour per day in prayer. Do you know why we become religious? When we neglect prayer, prayer kills carnality. Now when you don't pray, you become carnal, just like any other Kenyan. 
that you become ordinary. But when you pray, you allow the Holy Ghost to take control over your life, then you become spiritual. What is that, Jerani? How, una, how, how long do you pray in a day? When you give 15 minutes. Si ufanyi yu apazo no? Yu ukumu, si ukumi? Kwa ule zire unaombanga kwa siku mazama angapi? Wengine anaomba na tika tano za zubui ya kumbia chai. Bas. Imeisha. We don't pray as a program. We pray to live. We pray to live. Prayer helps us to live. Both victoriously and also it is the only way we fight. Spiritual warfare is fought in the context of prayer. You cannot tell me you are ready and you are not praying. You are a liar. Spiritual warfare is done in prayer. Now you cannot defeat the devil otherwise. But you cannot defeat the devil by committee meetings. I don't care how many good they are. You can write so many minutes. But the devil will mess you up with your committee. But I believe. That's why I don't like. If you are a deacon, you don't come to prayer. I will not gaff you as a deacon. Why? Wombi, sasa una idea, unatua wapi idea zako. Si utatulele zile za Portland factory. When do we get the agenda of God? In prayer. Now leaders must pray to get divine direction for the ministry. Are we together? So mine, you can see the need. Paul challenge these disciples because there can be people here who have not heard about the Holy Spirit and that's why they are not filled. But I'm teaching you that you will have no excuse. Excuse. That's all we saw. The Holy Spirit is God. Now we saw Peter say it. Number two, how is he God? The Holy Spirit is actually all powerful is omnipotent look chapter 1 verse because I just want to, to see some of these statements they will make you know who the Holy Spirit is Luke 1 verse 30 then the angel said to her pray Mary for you are found favor with God and behold, you conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. And he will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know man? And the angel answered and said, the Holy Spirit. Can you underline that first? Who? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that only one who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen. Verse 37. For with God nothing will be impossible. Which God are we talking about here? Eh? With God, nothing will be. How many know with God, no impossibility? Now that's why when you are born again, you are born by the power of the Holy Ghost and you become a true brother of Jesus. When you are not born again, you are not a brother of Jesus because you are born of the flesh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. But that which is born of the spirit a spirit. Tell your neighbor you must be born again. How are you born again? By the spirit of God. Anything that is not born of the spirit is flesh. 
and that he can't please God. May the Lord help us to come to a level of the Spirit empowering us. Are we together? It won't depend on your desire. Unataka kujiongoza ama unataka kuongozwa ni roho? Bana asiviwe. Now this is very very necessary. Why do young people wanashindwa ni mwili? Kijana, na wapinzani. Maana wachacharo you cannot live a holy life without the Holy Ghost. Grandi. Si mimi nilikuwa kiongozi wa wanarika miaka mingi. Lakini nilikuwa mwenye dhambi kiyakika. Tena mchanja kama zungura. Najua kujificha wazee. Unajivanya wazee. Una make sure ukizimama na muzijana wazee wa kuoni. Uchanja. Uchanja ukubeleka kuzimu. Lakini nilipo niliokoka maana nilizikia injili na nikahukumika kwa sababu ya roho nikasariwa mara ya ngapi ya pili nilipobasiliwa mara ya pili moyote ya kale ikaondoka kila kitu kikawa kipya wajua wapendwa hii unaona tunavuatilia saa na kushikilia watu ni kwa maana roho akuchi roho akija mtu ataokoka na jilete kanisani ngarantii anatafuta mnakutana wapi conviction of the holy ghost mimi niliokoka peke yangu nilikuwa under conviction for three days the holy ghost and i got saved and I took my testimony to church no nobody knew i'm saved but the holy ghost was there you see conviction of the holy spirit anaguguzo nalia wewe ni mzee Umejaona mzee akilia si ati ni kupenda ameguzo ni roho. Wakati anaoyo roho anaguzanga mtu. Yaani unaguzo naona mama machozi ndio haya. Ukisema njoo uokoke anakimbia maana ameguzwa. Roho ashuke aguguze. Aguze vijana waondoke kwa uzinzi na ujerati. Kwa nini mnafanya hiyo? Wewe uongozi ni roho na ongozo ni mwili. Ujajaso roho. Wewe ni mtu wa dini tu inaitwa JCC. Kwa nini JCC inaokoanga? Lakini ukiguzo ni roho nakwambia uweze You see when you are full of the Holy Spirit a small slippery of the tank you are convicted Ni niongee kitu nisikie hiyo roho anambia hiyo wewe ongeongea anakuguza mpaka unazangi unaandia unaambia I'm sorry How when I'm getting what I'm saying A small deviation from what God wants you to do the conviction Unatubu unaambia roho I'm sorry I will not repeat it and you repent not before a pastor before the holy ghost is the closest teacher of our way of life Na kirudi hii sarakazi unaona kanisani utaiona I can tell you for free Utaona watu wanazimamia Yesu hata kama anaishi peke yake hata kama unaishi kizumbondoko Out kizumondoka hata kuingia ndani maana una una roho uwezi kuwa na Mungu na una shetani hawezekani ukijaa Mungu shetani hata na ana nafasi si ndio wendo ambie jirani patizwa na roho wengine wanahitaji nini upatizwe si ndio na wale wamebatizwa jazwa te jazwa tena wengine waongea ngi na lugha anaongea ni lugha ni kama mtoto anafundishwa kuongea pa 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 eh lipuka ongea lugha lugha ro lugha aitwi zinaitwa lugha language language ina maneno mingi sio ambia jirani pata maneno mingi hapana <laughs> la le le li li a a <laughs> Lakini ongea lugha ni kama ni mtoto. Eh, ongea lugha, ambia jirani ongea lugha. Biblia inasema waka jazwa na roho kujazwa, kujazwa si kidogo, kujazwa language, kujazwa. Ni not sprinkly. Kwa hiyo ile ile ya kuzim sprinkle. It is not about sprinkle, it is an outpour. Waka jazwa kwa wingi, ukanena kwa lugha mingi, si ndio? 
e, ukalipuka mimi nilipojaza na roho nilijazwa ni kiketi asikuwekoa mikono ni mtu maana roho alipea unajua roho ako hapa akuji kutoka mbinguni ako hapa na unapokea tu kwa imani niliketi nikasikia muhubiri akahubiri nikajua oh kumbe ni mimi sijapokea roho ni kipawa sasa nikikupatia kipawa nani anachelewesha mwingine si yule wa kupokea na tunapokea kwa imani kwa nini kwa imani kapokea kwa imani ni kiketi muhubiri alipomaliza kuhubiri tukasimama mimi si kuongea kikamba wala kikuyu pani kalibuka tukaenda nyumbani walitokana na wao nikalipuka tena tukiomba maombi ya jioni maana zizi tuliomba jioni tukilala tulikuwa na mini kesha every day na asubuhi tuna morning glory every day hii ya, ya jumapili peke yake ishindwe ishindwe hii ya jumapili peke yake ni antini na watu waokolewe na roho ya antini jumapili peke yake hiyo ni roho mpaya ndio bilia nasema wengi siku hiyo watasema si nilikuwa eh, natoa mapepo maana walikuwa katika kanisa la kiroho lakini alikaukea katikati Yesu ni nini mtendao maofu the bible says many 30 days not few many why due to the increase of what lawlessness the love of men will grow cold tell your neighbor don't be part of these many do you know what happened when you grow cold hata ukizipokuja service hukumiki hakuna kitu kibaya kama hiyo ibada inaendelea na unachelewa na hukumiki wewe you are on a day to death i'm telling you the truth ushangamuki ibada then then something is wrong with you spiritual you are sick you need spiritual diagnosis suzeme me amen sedio kuchelewa ibada za zingine my wife knows i can even fail to take tea because i don't like coming late now some of you you are perpetually late why you are late by the flesh the holy ghost cannot lead you to be late haba hiyo ni too much waka bwana amen this is the truth hata kama una practice ama practice that's what i'm teaching so that you can apply it in your life are we together mtu amejaa roho mtakatifu asukumi kuomba maombi ni kama chakula one of the signs of follow the holy ghost is prayer is the first thing when they were follow the holy ghost they prayed why don't you pray are you follow the holy ghost or you follow religion tutawajua kwa matendo yeah si maneno are we together so may the lord fill us Amen. so the holy ghost is god i will continue from there and also tell you the holy ghost is those as a personality and then from there i will show you the condition of the work of the holy ghost in a believer is a journey i want us to walk together and we will have one holy ghost service i had one on t- thursday with the sunrise wakajazwa nili nilikuwa naambia chairman nitawaacha nitawaacha niende akanambia hapana waamshe kwa sababu lazima tuende sapa <laughs> you can break the school laws but then we are already laying in town by the holy ghost so nikamwambia si usiwaache sasa ukiwaache mimi nitawaamshaje wewe ndio umesababisha iwaache wakuje tutakuwa na one holy ghost i'm telling you I'm t- how many are desiring that tujae wengine mtalala hapa mulale hapa because we cannot be spiritually dry and bring change to Kenya we need to be full of the holy ghost why are women in backbiting because they are dry in the spirit mtu amejaa roho he can't backbite he has no time for that why are people causing divisions they are kenno and their spirit will be peace the body is not divided now these things will be killed by the holy ghost so that you can mature up and be kingdom minded but you are to quit from you see mimi mambo ya ndini hiyo nilipita kitambo even from my salvation mimi si atumekea ndini na tumekeanga mwili amina ndini 
nilianza kubiri nikiwa on deliverance na ubili na makanisa ya redeemed we opened churches in the whole of makueni and kadozwe ni kwenye i was there three days tukiomba tukilala kwa ngunia sikujali ndini na sijalangi ndini that's why you vai every denomination i serve the body my focus is the bo- body not denomination you must have a mindset of the king kingdom. the kingdom well my brother is a brother we are said akesha in the river one kesha on 25th tumesema kesha zote the river zitafungwa tutakuwa na kesha moja tutaiweka pale hiyo rice kesha moja moja tu tukasema hata watu kama watakaa nje waombe nje tutakuwa na Jesse Irel Bishop we will have three days from 23rd to 25th it will be solemn assembly the whole church in the river including you three days of prayer and fast climax is and join the kesha why there is power in unity one of you will chase a thousand two of you 10000 we must embrace unity we repeal divisions Amen. divisions are of a sign of immaturity ukiona watu wanagawanyika wao ni watoto koma ukikoma mambo ya kugawanyisha watu inaisha unaona mwili the big picture sema amen lakini hawezekani bila nani simama tumwambie roho akuje wewe mwenyewe mfungulie nafasi you don't have to wait until that day holy ghost service you can receive the holy ghost even today i want you to desire this baptism tell the holy ghost i need you this is what i need sina nguvu za kufanya maombi sina nguvu na kuhitaji nwa mikono fungua kinywa mwambie bwana ninatamani kujaza ninatamani ninatamani ujazo wa roho omba kutamani mwambie bwana ananitamani labda hujapatizwa wacha kujaza hujapatizwa mwambie roho nipatize yeye ndiye anapatiza yesu ndiye anapatiza inua mikono yote ishara ya kwamba umejisalimisha shida ya wengine wengine hutaki kuinua mikono ukiinua mikono inasungumza inaonyesha unajisalimisha mbele za bwana mwambie bwana ninakuhitaji roho mtakatifu pata nafasi katika kila moja wetu roho mtakatifu tunakukaribisha tunakukaribisha wesi bila wewe pata nafasi katika kila moja wetu we desire more of you and less of us holy spirit of god take your position in our lives liba zika tarabulu zike telebe liama kazanda if your spirit if you speak in other tongues open up build your most holy faith by praying in the spirit liama kaziki telebala lima dariale kezinteleba lama sika tarabulu zika leke zekete dariala zintalabu liama kazanta labulu zikata take over holy spirit of god have your way in our lives liama zukoto glorify jesus holy spirit of god glorify jesus glorify jesus glorify jesus glorify jesus glorify jesus glorify jesus Holy Ghost take over receive the Holy Ghost wherever you are in our mikono pokea roho pokea ujazo katika jina la Yesu pokea ujazo liba zukate liba daria mazunta open up your mouth liama kozekete 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 libadaria luzukata libadaria luzukata libadaria luzekete liba hompa 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 kumaanisha jiwachilie kwa bwana inua mikono mwambie bwana nijaze mwambie bwana nijaze mwambie bwana nijaze inua mikono liba Zakata, Kete, Lelevi, Ariyale Zanda, 
Lobu Zukoto. Kamo Janena na Luga Zingine. Pokea. Pokea. Zekete. Nibagaria. Power of God. Only Spirit of God. Only Spirit of God. Only Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, we need you. We welcome you. Take over. Even in our lives, take over Holy Spirit of God. Even if throughout this week, guide us in the ways of the Lord that have did it everlasting. Help us to pray as we hoped. Give us to live a victorious life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray and receive. Let's give the Lord a mighty clap and a shout of victory. Oh, we thank you. Tukiwa tumesimama na kufunga macho. Bele za mungu kwa hapa na unajua uja ukoka. Uja mba yesu maisha yako. Filo naishi ya mpendezi bwana kamwe. Ukiva leo, ukiva saa hii. Au na akika ya kuenda mbinguni. Nataka uwe na akika kwa njia ya kupokea yesu. Uko hapa, nuja ukoka. Inuwa mkono tumari ulipo. Inuwa mkono. Unajua, uja ukoka. Uja pokea yesu. Inuwa mkono juu. Inuwa kapisa juu ya kichwa chako. Inuwa kapisa. On the social media. You would like to receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior. I want you to pray loudly this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. Pray that you will forgive and cleanse me. From today, make me yours. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, the Lord has forgiven your sins. And you are already a child of God. Tonight, Zaketi, one of the sons. Tuta endelea juma pili, lakini wiki muzima. Tamani ujazo waro mutaka. Amen. Mungu ako teari, walie teari. Nataka tu kafungwe asina zetu, tu kamutelie bwana. Tukamutole Bwana. Tukamutole. Kama uko tayari na fungu lako la kumi. Uko tayari na fungu lako la kumi. Basi omba bahasha. Omba bahasha. Ukaweke hiyo fungu la kumi. Ibibaya kula fungu ukila fungu unakula atima yako never eat the tithe the tithe belongs to god is holy so give it out and the lord will bless you amen take out your offering something that is honorable honor god with your substance mheshimu bwana na matoleo yako kwa hivyo shika sandaka ya kuna mkono wako wale wengine toa mfukoni toa kwenye kibeti shika na mkono okay haya tu ni fungu juu na sandaka inua kabisa na uamini bwana lazima given shall be given back all that we give comes back multiplied shaken together and overflowing father we thank you for the opportunity we have to give for the expansion of your kingdom pray that you will bless every tither as your promised open of windows of blessing and rebuke the devourer on their behalf 
pray that as we give our offerings, the Lord will bless us. Let it come back to us, multiplied, shaken together, and even overflowing. We thank you and we worship you in Jesus' name. We pray. Father.